She bled so much on the table. It was the only way to save her life. Welcome, welcome. My name is Chacha Wabara. If you just see me for the first time, what we do here are film reviews only. Yeah. You made it. Uru Komono, you, Maje, Maria. Maria! Didn't go. And so today we'll be reviewing the Nigerian movie, a 2020 Nigerian movie directed by Damilola Orimo Gunje, entitled Maria Ebon Pataki. It has amazing actors and actresses like Meg Otanwa, Gabriel Afolaya, Tina Mba, Judith Audu, Demi Banwo. You know, there's something in Nigeria most of us, most people don't understand or cannot associate with what you call postpartum depression. Like, they don't understand it when you give birth and you're not bubbly, you're not moving around, you're not happy, you're not enjoying your omugo you know in quotes and you begin to say maybe there's something wrong with you just like we would understand that tinamba was just a mother-in-law who was consigned for her son and her daughter-in-law but did not know how to express herself like she did not know that you know there's what you would call postpartum depression now this movie is about a lady who gives birth and following intense bleeding and the removal of her womb i think she became so so she went down she became depressed she couldn't carry her child she was dissociated she had this dissociation from her baby couldn't breastfeed couldn't do anything didn't just want to have anything to do with her child and her husband was ever so supportive which is gabriel gabby he was supportive and always helping her her mother-in-law too was helping her but did not understand why she would not eat why she would not carry the baby why she would not breastfeed the baby why she would always be looking so down now we saw through the naming ceremony everything was done the way it is supposed to be you know things that you take for granted were really really painstakingly done the right way just the way you would do the naming ceremony you know it, it was perfect it was perfect normal home normal ninja culture you know deep culture it, they, they do it and you know carrying a newborn baby into a home before the baby starts to come into the home and i was absent-minded when i was watching the movie but what caught me was how tinamba kept on talking praying psalm 91 talking talking as they were carrying the baby into the home when the baby was first born that's what you usually do and um, i missed that for my first child until i don't know who told me that this is what you do so the person that was carrying my second baby into the house you know started praying going in walking talking decreeing talking praying Ah, I just looked at it. I'm like, oh, wow, this is it. This is it. They really captured it to the T. Baiting of the baby, everything that was done, it really pleased my heart. I was so, so, I was so impressed. Those were the things that were impressing me. I was in really, plot was strong, like really strong. It's just that they were not super they were not really capable of pulling it up. It, but the plot was larger than life for them. To be able to take up that plot, ah, it would have taken so much. That was where they missed it. The plot is strong. Postpartum depression and all that. But they were they, they touched it, but they were just on top, periphery, you know. They didn't want to go deep inside. All we kept on seeing were the actions of just the mother, and they were there, but they were not there. It was a partial insight into postpartum depression that I wasn't too satisfied with. But then again, they really tried. I'm sure maybe. Um, the next movie that actually talks about postpartum depression properly will really capture everything because it was like they couldn't even handle it at all. You know, last, last, 
reality reality they gave us that so did she commit suicide i think or what they just decided to just end it there and everybody pack your load and they go bye bye you know that kind of thing so i really do not understand the movie but they tried i'm picking different scenes left right and center did something you know i don't know what to say about it but individually they did try but what i was looking for inside inside tinamba did a part worry about that tinamba was awesome gabby was brilliant the main female lead meg meg was all right but you know the plot did not require them to go deep so you won't blame the actors and actresses everyone did what they were supposed to do at the end of the day okay so which brings me to the end of this movie review i'll be rating it a 7 over 10. up there you'll see my korean movie review my chinese movie review my nigerian movie review and then again my movie review thank you so much for doing this with me bye and don't forget to hit on the subscribe button okay thank you